Bunny, let's have a talk. We're going to have two talks. Okay. And both of the talks are going to deviate slightly. And then at the end, like the master wordsmith that I am, I'm going to combine these two conversations into one conversation. Uh Uh-huh. Okay. I'm going to cross the streams. I'm going to have two different streams of thought, and then I'm going to cross the streams. I don't binge watch. I do not I do, do that. I, I, I cannot. I just don't. I can't sit still. It's, it's not an ADD thing or an AD or, or an ADHD thing or an yeah. HD ADD thing. Yeah. It's just... Why are you torturing the baby? I just started a new bit and I'm on a roll, Bella. Help a brother out. It's just adult life breaking my back. I work 41 and a half hours a week at work, and then I come home tired and sore, but yeah. now I helped it. But now I can't rest. I can't just sit on a couch and watch TV for five hours straight. I have to help my family of neurotics and CW addicts. Yes. I have a three to five hour podcast every week that I believe is re- is filled with so much amazing and entertaining oh, content that, that I'm fully convinced that this podcast is recorded every week partially by magic yes 100 percent uh believe that i have five kids two bathrooms one tv that math does not add up (laughs) the three youngest are constantly in like a hunger games battle royale style death match trying to get the tv so they can watch youtube get those wipes from the baby all she wants to do is remove all the wipes Okay, remember where you threw them because she's going to get them. She's on her way to get them now. <laughs> so the three, I'm going to, okay, this podcast is becoming mobile. I'm getting those wipes because she's just going to get those wipes. She's, she, she has no memory, but she will 100% remember exactly where you threw the wipes so that she can ruin the wipes. Stop making her scream, Bella. Stop making her scream. I'm trying to do this thing. So so then my two teens, yes. my two older teens have boyfriends or in Emerald's case, quote unquote, cuddle buddies. But I'm not stupid. I know what that's code for. Yeah. OK, uh-huh. I know what I know what cuddle buddies is code for. OK, mm-hmm. I mean, I know I know what's going on. I know what's going on with my two teenage daughters. Yeah, I'm not stupid. Yeah. I'm not clueless. I know what they're doing. So I try so hard not to think about what those two girls are doing. I don't <laughs> want to know what they're up to. I don't want to know about it. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to get details. I don't want any of these things. <laughs> so I try really hard to stay ignorant with what those two girls are up to. So I try and 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 it's hard. It's really hard. And let me tell you why it's hard. My wife is really open about the S.E. sex. Yeah, I spelled that my kids wouldn't know what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. My, my my wife is very open about the S-E sex, and I am too. But Jesus fucking Christ, the last thing I need right now with my insane work schedule and my big-ass family and my PTSD and all that, the last thing I need is a constant reminder about how my teenage daughters are no doubt getting in more than me. <laughs> and, and on top of that, I'm supposed to, on top of all that, I'm expected to sit down and watch two seasons of Stranger Things in one sitting? Hell no! <laughs> Binge we, watching. We're going to come back to that. Binge watching is something I cannot afford to do. I just can't do it. I can't yeah. do it. Maxwell wants YouTube so that he can watch. Um, he's gotten into this weird habit of just watching commercials. Yeah, and, and, really? Yeah, I turned to Maxwell and I'm like, Maxwell, what are you watching? And it's like, oh, uh, M&M commercials. <laughs> Because at first he was looking for Simpsons things, and he's oh, this is a these are all the couch gags from seasons eleven through fifteen. Oh, here's the funniest jokes of Homer. Oh, here are uh, the funniest Butterfinger commercials. Oh, here are the funniest M M&M and M commercials. Now I like turn, and he's watching like German candy commercials, an hour of German candy commercials on YouTube, and I'm like, how the hell did you get here? Yeah. <laughs> And then Bella has all of these shows, and Bella knows all the YouTubers. Ben, Bella knows 
all the YouTubers. So, and then all of these YouTubers are getting so popular that they have books coming out and, uh -huh. and they, they're becoming super successful. So then I'm at work and then we get this new book and then the manager goes, Oh, who are red and link? And I'm like, I have no idea. But if my daughter, if, if Bella had a phone, I could text her and she would explain it to me. Well, I know who they are. Cause they trip me up every fucking time I see them somewhere. Why? Cause the one guy looks exactly like Sean Gunn. Oh my yes. God. Like yes. almost, almost exactly looks like Sean Gunn. So I'm like, so I'm like, holy fuck. It's Sean Gunn. Oh no. It's these fucking guys again. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then, uh, like, oh, here's a book by who's Dan DMT, Dan DTM. Who the hell is that? And I'm like, I, I don't know who that is. I just know that Bella would know. Yeah. You know, it's weird that there's this whole underculture going on that we're kind of aware of. Where the fuck do they get millions of followers from? I have no idea. I have no freaking idea. No idea. Like making videos on YouTube is a career now. Yes. That can be your job. Yeah. Yeah. That can be a job now. And they are some fucked up people. Yeah. You know, yeah. They're, they're getting arrested for sick and to perverted shit that's going on yeah. behind the scenes and things yeah. like that. And like just just a lot of people who are really not mentally mature because I don't think they've ever had to work. Yeah. And I don't remember which famous YouTuber it was, but my favorite YouTuber was the guy who gave all of his fans his home address. <laughs> and, so, and so his, like, mansion is, like, constantly filled with fans. So, of course, the neighbors are pissed off, and they're, like, angry with him. But then he's like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry that I have the best fans in the world. Yes, yes, I remember this guy. Uh-huh. Yeah. He was my favorite guy because it's like, oh, that's an impressive level of douchebag that you have reached, dude. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Also, just to be clear, I it, the that whole conversation I had about my teenage daughters, that was the breakdown that I scheduled for myself. Ah, OK. Just if you're keeping score at home, that was the breakdown you, that I scheduled. You, so you, you kept it pretty well under control for a breakdown. Thank you. Thank you. I, I tried really hard to, to, to corral myself in. Yeah. So, Bunny, let's put a pin on that conversation, okay? That's one of the two different convos that I'm going to be rapping at you. And then in the shocking finale, we're going to cross the streams. Okay. I never make New Year's resolutions. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm against them. Yeah, I always felt that they were for the week in that if you need a holiday to be the excuse for you to change yourself, then you know, anyone can change at any time. You don't need a holiday to start changing. You just need to want <laughs> to change yourself. And, and, uh, that right there, that is my self-help book. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I'm, I'm Deepak Chopra-ing the shit out of this podcast. <laughs> but this year, January 1st of 2017, I made two New Year's resolutions. <laughs> Number one, the music on my phone. I had so much music... So much music on my phone, a, a ridiculous amount of music on my phone. So much so that I only had like 15% of space left on my phone. And my phone already had like a 32 gig card in it. Right. So the fact that I only had like 15, the fact that I only had like 15% of space left was ridiculous. I had a, uh, three over 3200 songs on my phone in the beginning of the year yes and i wanted to bring that down that's so i i wanted to get the music on my phone in con uh, controlled under control uh -huh. number one and number two i wanted to watch finally watch all of the marvel netflix shows so that i could watch the de the defenders I tried watching Daredevil when it first came out, but it just seemed bleak and, and dark. And it's like, yeah. oh, so this is this is less of a comic book show and more of, um, I don't know, The Shield with Daredevil. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. You know? Yeah. Like, okay, this this is just this is the wire, but with Matt Murdock. Okay. I, I'm like, okay, so basically you're getting Marvel comic book characters and you're Heath ledgering them up. Yes. Like, okay. So I gave up on Dear Devil in the beginning of the year. So like I, I really, but I really wanted to see the Defenders, despite the fact that it didn't have Doctor Strange or the Hulk. Those are the Defenders in my mind, right? Because mm-hmm. I used to read the actual Defenders. So those were my two New Year's resolutions. I had, I have had almost an entire year to do this, uh-huh. a year, <laughs> and I did not watch shit all year. Didn't watch a single episode of anything. Now, my first New Year's resolution, I right now, as of this moment, I have 2,204 songs on my phone. Which, which, is, the one, which is the one that hurt the most to delete? Um, no, no. I, I, oh, do I have fish heads on my phone anymore? Yeah, I deleted fish heads. Fish head. the, yeah, that hurt. Yeah. I recently deleted some song, and I don't remember what the song was. I deleted it a couple of days ago, and I deleted it because it just reminded me of X's. And I don't remember what the song was. It was some popular song, and I just deleted it. Yeah. I keep expecting one of your X's to pop up on notes from a bookstore, but it hasn't yet. No, no, yeah. has not. Has not. So the 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 song thing, I got that under control. But then uh, two weeks ago, and then right here, I'm crossing the streams. I have been binge watching Netflix Marvel. Yes, I have been binge watching Netflix Marvel, and I'm trying to watch it in order, and that's the difficult part because Netflix doesn't release numbers, doesn't release ratings. Ratings don't exist for Netflix. But Netflix has announced the way that people watch Netflix shows. The okay. way that they watch them is most people watch Jessica Jones first, then really? Luke Cage, then they watch everything else. And I can understand that because Jessica Jones just seems infinitely better than it. So I'm trying to watch it in order. So I watched season one of Daredevil. Right. And then after that, I watched Jessica Jones. And now I have to go back to Daredevil. And I don't want to. Uh, Yeah, but this one's got the Punisher. So, yeah. So, like, I'm excited about that. But, like, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm uh, not 100 percent excited about. Well, see, see, now you now you see what I what I've been saying about Luke Cage, you know? Because everything is so fucking dark and gritty when it came around to Luke Cage. I've just bottomed out of dark yeah. and gritty. Yeah. You yeah. know? So it's like, I'll, I'll keep Daredevil because I'm loyal. You know? Yeah. That was the first one. I have a certain amount yeah. of loyalty. And then, like, The Walking Dead. But but then at the same time, is uh, I'm, a, I'm a mark. I'm a mark for Marvel. And no matter what the fuck I say, I'm going to watch them. Yeah. It doesn't make a difference. Yeah. <clears throat> so I watched all of season one of Daredevil. I watched all of season one of Jessica Jones. And, and right now I am on episode one of season two of Daredevil. I do think that I have a chance to watch all of these before the new year. I never realized that anybody can r- roll their eyes all the way through a whole fucking series. I, yeah, I did that through a lot of Daredevil Jessica Jones to me seemed to be the it's like so much better than Daredevil. It was really good, and I I cared about the characters, and it was written really well. And uh, it was a nice, tight, personal story. But I I, yeah. I, 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 I was not liking Jessica Jones. Yeah, I wasn't and liking I her pouty was, little bitchy. Yeah. yeah, and I think that that was a part of it. I don't think you were supposed to like Jessica Jones, and that was one of the well, things. It worked. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think that was one of the things that I liked. The like they're going out of their way to make you not like this superhero character. That doesn't happen. Yeah, you know, like mo- like oh no, we're supposed to be the good guy triumph, 
triumphing over evil, but no, oh, it, Jessica Jones was a horrible person. I kind of like that. Yeah. I kind of like that. Jessica Jones? Uh, no, it's just, no, it's just, it's just got on my nerves after a while. I had a hard time with Jessica Jones because I didn't realize how much of that show dealt with post-traumatic stress disorder. Yeah. I wasn't aware that like post-traumatic <clears throat> stress disorder it was like the crux of the show. So Daredevil, I didn't like that as much, but oh man, that was like two and a half days. Two and a half days I was done with season one of Daredevil. Jessica Jones took me like five days. Yeah. So like twice the time it took me to watch Daredevil, only because like literally it, it, Jessica Jones literally just like like a cat. It made the hair on the back of my neck stand up. It really made me uncomfortable. And this yeah. whole past week i have i have been uh quicker to anger and more annoyed than i am at normal times and it's just really? because like oh god there are things that happen in in jessica jones that like oh god like i know that feeling of worrying that something is going to happen and someone is like you're you're 100 convinced that something bad is about to happen to you like, yeah. oh man yeah, like yeah oh god that was that was like my entire two years after the robbery like it, it, like I, I would watch like 15 or 20 minutes of Jessica Jones and then I'd have to pause it and walk around the house for a while yeah wow yeah yeah, yeah no, no it was she, really, she didn't really hit me hard. that hard but I, I, I didn't I didn't watch it until after Defenders yeah yeah no I no I have to watch it in order this is why I've never gotten into Doctor Who I gotta yeah. watch this from beginning to end, and that's impossible with Doctor Who. So, mm -hmm. like, I, I really want to watch Defenders, but God damn it, I gotta start it. Episode one of all of these stupid fucking Marvel shows. <laughs> I'm really excited to get to Iron Fist. Yeah. Really excited to watch Iron Fist because uh, I hate Iron Fist. Yeah. And I've heard the show is crap, so I'm really excited. Out of all of them, out of all the Marvel TV shows. I don't know. I, I really can't stand Agents of Shield. Let, let's keep with the yeah. the ones on Netflix. Iron Fist yeah. is the worst. Yeah, Iron I'm Fist. so excited. I'm so excited. One thing that pissed me off about Daredevil is that they killed the owl. They killed the owl. Yeah, I don't remember that in the first season. I, because it, it it was um it was uh the kingpin. Yeah, Wilson Fisk, and then there was uh, Madame Gao, right? And then there were the Russians, and then there was Leland, and he was like the bookkeeper guy. Yeah, but his his full name is Leland Owlsley, and in the comic books he is a villain, and his name is the Owl, and he's like a crime syndicate guy. And I started reading uh, Daredevil again when um, two things happened at the same time. Number one. They outed someone outed Daredevil. Yeah, like some reporter just had a, a bunch of pictures all over his uh, his desk, and one day he just saw a picture of Matt Murdock, criminal defense attorney, and then he saw a picture of Daredevil, and 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 I imagine this would happen all the time, especially in the DC universe. The guy just looked at the two pictures and then just got a red marker and just drew a mask over uh, the picture of Matt Murdock and said, "Holy shit!" Yeah. Yeah, no, this is the guy. This is definitely the guy. So he writes an article about it. Suddenly everyone thinks he's Daredevil. And my favorite scene is when Stiltman, an old Daredevil villain, goes to the offices of Nelson and Murdoch and gives him his stilts. <laughs> and Matt Murdoch's like, I'm not Daredevil. Look, I'm done. All right. I'm sick of being beaten up by you. Well, just to be clear, I'm not Daredevil. Look, I read the article. All right. You're Daredevil. Here's my suit. I'm freaking done, okay? Okay, but again, I'm not Daredevil. I don't care. Then here's some free stilts. I'm done, okay? <laughs> so then at the same time, the owl takes over Hell's Kitchen because Wilson Fisk is in jail. And what he does is he comes up with a drug, and the drug gets you high by giving you superpowers. Okay. And it's, and it's called, like, HGB, and suddenly... All of these bad guys are doing drugs that for like 45 minutes, an hour, two hours, gives you a superpower. Huh. 
and it's, it was such a great little concept and I loved it. So I, so when I saw that, you know, the bookkeeper, Wilson Fisk's bookkeeper was like Leland, I'm like, oh, so this is the owl. So he becomes a huge guy, maybe season two, season three of Daredevil. He can be like the big heavy, but no, he dies. Wilson Fisk. <laughs> This kills him. And I'm like, damn it. Then I'm so that means I'm not going to see my superhero drug because I thought that was an awesome idea. Mm -hmm. But then watching Jessica Jones, I'm pretty sure that's what that cop guy was on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He he was part of some top secret yeah. government project and he had these drugs and he was taking these red pills and suddenly he can throw Jessica Jones through a, a wall and shit. And I'm like, oh, is that the drug? I think that might be the drug. That might be the drug. And also, I was really confused with Jessica Jones. So you have super strength, and you can stop a moving car, and you can pick up a car, and you're, like, super strong. And yet, a normal person can take you out with a wooden chair. I'm confused. <laughs> really confused by your power set. Yeah. You have super strength, but also, anyone can knock you out. That mm -hmm. doesn't make sense to me. Like, I know you don't have bulletproof skin, but then also Luke Cage has unbreakable skin. He doesn't have fucking super strength, though. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, he, just... he does. He does? Yeah. Oh, well, I thought he just had unbreakable skin. So he has unbreakable skin and super strength. Well, then Jessica Jones doesn't have unbreakable skin. She just has the super strength. So then why is, like, some random person with, like, a... Like a a plank of wood knocking her out. I'm so weirded <laughs> out by this. It's, it seemed like they didn't want to go 100. They didn't want to go all in with her powers is yeah. what I saw. Yeah. Either way, I like Jessica Jones and I'm excited. Kilgrave, Kill, Kilgrave was a great bad guy. Oh yeah. That was fucking wonderful. That was fucking wonderful. I love the hell out of that. Yeah. I got Natasha to watch the last episode of Jessica Jones accidentally. I movie ninja her. She really liked it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm watching. I'm watching the Marvel Netflix shows, people, and uh, wish me luck. I think I can get through all of them at the end. By the end of the by the end of the year, the only difficult part is that I thought, okay, I'm pretty sure I can make it all the way so that I watch Defenders. But technically, I said that I would watch all the Marvel Netflix shows. By the time I get to Defenders, fucking Punisher will be out. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm like, damn it, there's a new show. There's a new show. <laughs> I screwed myself, but I, I still think I can do it. I still think I can do it. Well, I I I binge watch. I am a binge watcher. So yeah. you know, so I've been through all these and I, I have been going through I just started last night going through Stranger Things. Um, yeah, and I, I, I and I feel the same way, man. Like I I like the show, but I am not nearly as in love with it. Oh Jesus! Christ, as the America. rest of the world is. Yeah. yeah, America is obsessed with that show. I haven't watched Stranger Things yet. I'm j I I just got to Daredevil. People, you need to give me some fucking time on this shit. Yeah, but but one thing I will say. Despite what Stranger Things is telling America, the video game Dragon's Tale was hard as shit. Dragon's Lair yeah. was hard as shit, and no one got as far as those fucking kids got. No. No one got that far. No one saved the freaking princess. That was a hard-ass game. Yeah, I... And if you, did, if you did get to the end of the game and beat the game, it's because you were like a 35-year-old with Asperger's that remembered the patterns. Mm hmm. No mm -hmm. one, no one got that far. No, I, right. I mean, it was, it was a fun game to look at, but it was no fun to play. Yeah. Yeah. It was a fun game. It was a fun game to watch other people play. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Cause his cartoon sequences were great. And then they had oh, another yeah. one. They had that space ace. Space ace. Yeah. 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 But anyway, Don I'm watching Blue. I'm watching Stranger Things, and they have a new character. Um, this isn't spoiling anything. And he's he's a doctor. He's an older guy. Kinda. Is that Paul Reiser? It's fucking Paul Reiser. Paul freaking Reiser. I was like, holy shit! You've become you've become that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How sad, Paul Reiser. 
God, yeah. I remember when he was the shit. But he looks like a doddering old goofy doctor character that we've seen yeah, a million I, times. Yeah, I felt sad when I saw that that uh, Winona Ryder was like the crazy mom. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I remember when you were the the hot daughter. I, I, now you're the crazy I, I, I can't believe I can't believe how hot Winona Ryder is. Yeah, She's I still had a, love Winona Ryder. She must have had extensive work. There yeah. aren't there. I can't think of any other woman that I had like a crush on when I was 12 that I still have a crush on at 40. Yeah. But Winona Ryder is up there. She is so adorable. She is just, no. she's just, I, I, I don't think she's ever looked this good. Yeah. Yeah. People got to no find way. out who her fucking doctor is. Yeah. Hopefully she's she's got to be problem. right around my age somewhere. 50-ish. Late 40s. Yeah. Early yeah. 50s. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because what Johnny Depp is like fifty something now, like fifty one, fifty two. Yeah, but he's got. You can look at Johnny Depp and see he's got some age on him. Yeah, you know, I I can believe that. Winona Ryder to me is passing for like thirty, early thirties. Yeah, and that like that's what her character is because that would be the age of her sons more or less. Yep. So yeah, Paul I went fucking to Reiser. I, I, I couldn't believe yeah. that was Paul Reiser. And I didn't recognize him for a while. And then it was like, once you see it, you can't unsee it. That is Paul Reiser. <laughs> Paul Reiser. God damn. Yeah. I, I, I just expected him to ride out the, the rest of his career on Hollywood Squares or something. Yeah. He can't be getting that much mad about you residual checks. No. Yeah, I went to the Halloween store the other day, and there was a whole Stranger Things section. Really? Yeah. Yeah, there was an entire section just of Stranger Things costumes. I mean, the the parts with the kids is great. Okay? Love yeah. that part. It's a lot of fun. It's it's very Stephen King rippy offy. You know, uh, Spielbergian, you know, E.T., and, and it's fun. But, like, I don't need the whole subplot of, of his older sister who is dating the high school hero or whatever, but the other brother likes her. I, I don't need that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, more, I'll tell more you monsters. something. I'll tell you something. You know who the real winner is who? in this situation? Uh, who, whatever company makes egos. Yes. Like good on them. Mm -hmm. Good on, good on Kellogg or whoever the fuck. <laughs> yeah.